VC, VC, what's happening? Um, yeah, I know in my last video, which was in November, I said that I was going to be posting more regularly, but I still haven't kept to that. It's now February. Yes. <laughs> I'm very sorry about this. Um, things have been busy. I practically have two jobs now. Um, and other, uh, most of my spare time now is going on making and writing and editing music. Um, so yeah, things have been pretty full on. Uh, I've finally found a bit of time to make a little video. Um, yeah, before I start, I'd like to say uh, a few shout outs to Derek, of course. Hope you're doing well. We haven't spoken in a while. Tony, I hope you're doing good. Chris, Solar System. Guys, if you haven't already checked out his music, please do. This guy's going to make it big. It is proper heavy psychedelia and um, it's great stuff. To be honest, I, like I said in the last video, I think I've been I've been on the Facebook page more than um, YouTube because uh, I can I can look on there on my phone when I'm at work and things like that. Um, so I haven't been able to watch anyone's videos in a while, and it's shocking behaviour. I've not been very true to the VC at all, um, and I feel awful about it. I know I keep saying I'm going to try and make a video every week, but it's becoming really hard. It, you know, I only make shortish videos now, but it's still tricky. Um, but yeah, things are going good. I went to the London Olympia Record Fair on January, uh, on the 20th, I think it was, and I was digging through, um, I hope you're watching this, Steve. I was digging through um, this, this guy's stall. He had loads of stuff. Turned out he was a dealer who, and collector who had to downsize and he drastically priced things down. It was insane. Uh, I spent most of my money on this stall, bought quite a few bits, um, which I'll show here, some of them. Um, anyway, so uh, I, this guy was next to me and he was looking at an Eno album and uh, I think it was Another Green World and I said, oh, are you, are you, uh, are you definitely buying that? Um, he said, oh, no, there's another one in there. I picked it out, but uh, it wasn't the one I was looking for, it was the issue. And he went to me, you're Eric the Viking, aren't you? And just taken aback, I was like, yeah, yeah. Um, turns out he watches my videos on here, and it was just the most surreal thing ever. Um, and it was awesome to actually meet someone in the flesh who, who is part of the VC. So Steve, if you're watching, honestly, it was, it was the most surreal thing that's ever happened to me, really. Um, it's nice to know that, that people are watching my videos, because... Uh, it's just awesome. Um, so yeah, Steve, hello. He hasn't made any videos and I've told him to start doing it. I mean, you know, it's quite daunting at first, but uh, generally I've had a good experience from it. I've not had any really nasty comments. Um, maybe that's because I don't make enough videos. Anyway, let's get down to it. So I've got a few records from Brazil that I was meant to show. These came ages ago. Um, a few other bits. Some of these I put on the Facebook page as I've got them. So I got uh, an original demo UK pressing of Spoon by Can uh, with I'm So Green on the B side. This is really rare. See, now I've got all the Can albums. I want to try getting the singles. I got this for a fiver. Um, it's a bit scratchy, but it, it plays like X plus, really. It's got some little marks. But um, yeah, this is my first Can single apart from I Want More, which is a lot easier to find. So it's nice to get one of those. Uh, got this original American uh, cadet concept pressing of Turn Me On by Rotary Connection, one of my favourite tracks of theirs. This is in pretty shitty condition, but it was like a pound. Uh, it looks alright, but it, it, it's pretty warm. But it's worth it just for the label, really. I love that label. Uh, Crate Junkies, if you're watching, I know you love this album, and I'm very pleased to say I finally got one for myself. An American pressing of Time of the, uh, Odyssey and Oracle, one of my favourite psych albums. I've seen the zombies doing it live, which was incredible. And I saw Family live last week. Me and my dad went to see him at Shepherd's Bush, which was also amazing. I think it was the first reunion since they split up in 73. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this is obviously the American pressing on date, but it's, it's a lot, lot cheaper than the English one, which sells for like five, six hundred pounds. And to be honest, well, there's two different ones. I'd like the one with the full sleeve, but this will do for now. It makes a nice alternative, and it is in lovely shape. It's got the original inner sleeve, and I really like the date label. It's lovely. Lovely Columbia manufactured label. Um, this was £20 on Discogs, and yeah, great. Very happy with that. I mean, even this one can go for about £50, £60. 
and it is in nice shape. There's a bit of water damage on the sleeve, but other than that, great. And it's nice to finally hear that on vinyl. This one I got from Olympia, um, Unrest by Henry Cow. Glad to finally have got a lovely copy of this. Uh, it really is in stunning condition, and it is the first pressing on the black and white label. So I've already got Legend, and you know I've only really just started getting into Henry Cow. I had Legend or Legend for years, um, and you know I seem to understand them more now. Very Zapparesque, Avon proggy jazz stuff, um, and I got In Praise of Learning from the same guy, which is a joint effort by them and Slap Happy. I've never really heard Slap Happy, but Dagmar Krauss's voice is ridiculous. She she was just insane. Um, and obviously she went on to form Art Bears with Chris Cutler and Fred Frith, who I like too. Um, again, this is a, a really nice copy. These were like £10 each, which I'm really happy with, because they, they, they seem to go for crazy money elsewhere. Um, yeah, now there's a few I got from that dealer I was talking about. Got a mint original UK of the late, now great, no, the now late great Donald Bird. R.I.P. man was gutted when I heard about that a few days ago. Um, and this is an English pressing, which I've never seen before. And this is definitely one of his most desirable albums. And it was one of the only ones of his that I still needed from that sort of period. So it's nice to have an English pressing, but I would like to get an American one, really. Um, but this is like in stunning condition, so I was very pleased with that. Now this I couldn't pass up, it had £20 on it. Peter Wingard, um, who was in that program and he played the character Jason King, what was the, oh god damn it, can't remember the name of the program. This is one of the most bizarre albums ever made. Um, I mean it's got a track on it called Rape and I think it was banned because of that. Rape's got some heavy breaks on it as well. But you know, it's mostly spoken word with really cool trippy music. And, um, you know, at one time this album was going for £200 plus, but um, it's gone down an awful lot now, and, yeah, 20 quid, I couldn't pass it up. It's in really nice shape. Uh, you know, I was, I, I was, I, I was going to buy it to sell, but part of me wants to keep it now, because it's just that kind of album. And it was funny, because taking off each label, he originally had like £100 on it, so he priced it down an awful lot. Um, one of the Herbie Hancock albums I didn't own, this was like four quid. Death Wish soundtrack, really nice. Um, great soundtrack, of course. It's Mr. Hancock. Uh, it's an original English pressing from 74. I was very pleased with that. Uh, this one I got from my friend Damien, um, who's a really nice seller there. Mainly specializes in library stuff. Uh, a UK pressing of Check Out Your Mind by The Impressions, 15 quid this was. This is my favorite Impressions album, nearly dropped it. And UK pressings are very rare. Um, it's the only UK pressing I've ever seen in the flesh. And this normally has like 30, 40 pounds on it when I see it online. So I was very pleased to get it. This is like near mint. Um, and it's just before Curtis came out, I think. This was like the last one Curtis did with them. And it's very good. Uh, from, the, from that dealer who was having a downsizing, I got this for a fiver. Yes! Been after this for so long. White Noise, Electric Storm. Uh, it's the palm tree label pressing, so it's not the original, but this is from like 71. And this is still like 50, 60 quid even for this normally. And it's just obviously one of the most influential albums in, you know, influence electronic music as we know it. Delia Derbyshire and that lot were connected to it. She was gorgeous. Uh, yeah, David Warhouse, great album. I don't think I need to say much about that. This one I got from Discogs for a fiver. Soldier Talk by Red Crayler, I'm a big fan of theirs. Their latest stuff's not brilliant, but this is one of the better ones. Um, David Thomas from Perry Ubu makes a little appearance. Actually, the whole, the whole of Perry Ubu are involved in this album. And Mayo Thompson, Red Crayler's leader, later went on to join them. Um, this came out in 79. It was their sort of comeback album, I guess, because they haven't done one for a while before that. Yeah, not a bad album. Uh, yes, I finally got myself Bish Bosh by Scott Walker. Um, took me a while to get one because they just shot up in price really quick and then Amazon had uh, them on their 15 quid. So I invested in one. I had to. This album's superb. I think it's better than The Drift. Uh, obviously, I you know checked it out straight away and it's really nicely presented here. Um, 
I think the American issue is a bit different, but this one, I don't know why they do this now, it has the CD with it as well, and the lyric booklet, and the vinyl, and it is a really lovely pressing, 4AD, put a lot of effort into this, it sounds great, and I know that, you know, in a few years this is going to be fetching big bucks like the Drift is now, which I still haven't got, although they've just reissued it, so I need to get myself one of those, but, um, if you guys like Scott Walker, like me, and you can dig his experimental stuff, this is great. And a lot of the lyrics are really funny on this. It shows his, his sense of humour. One of the tracks is 22 minutes long. Um, it's some epic sort of thing about a guy that sat on flagpoles. I think it's some sort of legend thing. Um, he often like does sort of historic things like that. And a lot of the lyrics are insults that people would hurl at him. Like, um... oh, I wish I could remember some of it now. I can't. Sorry. <laughs> I haven't got much time now, because I've got the 15 minute limit. So I'll quick, quickly show these Brazilian ones. Low Borges, um, oh man, where do I start with Low Borges? If that's how I say his name, it probably isn't. Um, I love this album, this is one of the best Brazilian albums I've heard yet. And it's got the poster. I've got, again, these are from my friend Gil over there. This was his personal copy. I basically asked him if he had any, and he said, I have one in my collection, you can have it for a fair price, you know, Bob. Um, it's a promo as well, it's got the red promo stamp. I got this for £60, which I was very pleased with. It's funny, you know, these days I seem to spend quite a bit on Brazilian stuff, but to me it's worth it because I've never seen another one of these. And it's got the original um, poly bag sleeve. I also got an original mono Gal, Gal Costa's legendary second album. This is just psych, top level psych. Chris, if you haven't heard this, you need to. This is going to blow your mind, man. This album's just superb. An original mono press there, no insert though, but this was like 30 pounds. Really nice shape. Um, Milton Nascimento's Club de Esquina with Low Borges. Uh, this is the original stereo pressing, which. Every original pressing I've seen has been mono, and this is a stereo, and it is immaculate. It really is. I don't know how he finds them in this condition, but he does. Um, again, I don't know if these were his personal copies. He, but he's told me basically that he's been selling records in Sao Paulo since the 70s, so he's quite well respected in that aspect, but he does struggle, I think, what he's told me. So, um... If any of you guys want to check him out on eBay, he's called Black Files 1999. Good prices and, and good stuff. But a lot of this stuff I bought from him, he, he doesn't put on eBay because he does a lot of fares. I also got Milton Nascimento's, um, what's this called? Milagro do Peixes. The Peixes? This is the full shebang with the. Oh, this is insane, this sleeve. Um, you can see that, that, that he was quite a big seller over there because he could afford to. Have lavish packaging like this. Again, this is on Odeon. Um, this is just beautiful. Great album too. And most of it is instrument like wordless vocals because I think he was getting in a lot of trouble about his lyrics. So he just thought, well, I'll do one without any any words, which is a great idea. It's got the single with it, and these inserts are all staggered. It's all the lyrics there. It's just beautifully done. Um, I've just got about got enough time for the last one. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is just, this is a great, I think this is one of his best albums. Club de Esquina has to be the best, but I really like Milton Nascimento's stuff. Um, one album that was, was released specifically for the States market on A&M called Milton from 76 um, is also brilliant. I mean, to be honest, all of the 70s albums of his I've heard I've really liked. He is very good. Let me just try and get this back in there. Okay, almost out of time, guys. Last one, Minas, as well, Milton Nascimento. Really nice sort of silver-tinted sleeve. Uh, again, this was from Gil, with the insert. Lovely writing there. And again, this is like in superb condition. I know that these aren't that hard to find in Brazil, because they sold an awful lot. This was like $10 from Gil. So, um, yeah, I've told Gil about the VC. And he should really check it out. Now, guys, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to make it very quick. We've got like 10 seconds. Thanks for watching. I'm going to try and stick to it and, and make more videos. Guys, speak to you all soon. Love you. Bye-bye.